<laughs> you're so mean river she's so mean so now what have you taught the sister huh, hazel guys i have all of my kids here and plus two <laughs> <laughs> you have six kids here. I have six kids, and what's funny is that technically they're in age where she I told me they could have been my children. Yeah. Because Sarah's six, Hazel's what four, yeah. and then River the Roo is one. Is eighteen months ish, almost. She's so cute. <laughs> Why are you home? Because it's a we, snow day. You're responsible. Yeah, it's a snow day. Yeah, Emma told Missy it's a snow day. And I'm like, uh, Hang it's on. not. Yeah, it's a snow day. No, no it's not a snow day. day. It is definitely not a snow day. So. Oh, look, she could have a little <laughs> loop de loop. Cute. Um, we have an eye doctor appointment today, and we decided, because I was just gonna come home after it, we decided instead of going and then Which coming home, I just stay home. Yeah. So yeah, I just was thinking the eye doctor's like 11:30, and then I was like, I don't want to rush to the school, pick her up, take her, and then just to have her come home. And I was already watching these kids for just a couple of hours this morning. And so I was like, just stay home. She's been so busy, and today she doesn't have any play practices or anything. I don't have practice and tomorrow so, either. Oh, tomorrow either? Nope. So it's just nice. It's just nice. We're just going to relax. Relax with kids, but no driving crazy. Not doing it. How was work? Mm, pretty good. Nee. She's got one more day, and then she has a day off. That's exciting. Well, she has to work. Uh, one more morning. One more morning. Miss home? We don't look homeless. There you go. You look so pretty. She's been wearing this dress for three days in a row now. <laughs> Good old hand-me-downs. You look gorgeous. You'd think we were going somewhere special. Nope. We are just home. Oopsies. Sorry, Soph. <laughs> oh, you almost fed the dog your bread. I didn't mean to leave you outside. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, she did, so she meant it. She meant to Let's see what things she'll find to throw up all over my house today. She found herself a little snack yesterday and then deposited it in piles all over my, my living room. It was so special. <laughs> yesterday, um, I came back from our activity with church, and my mom said, we just got six eggs, so we need to check for eggs more often now. It's exciting, and let's see what we get now. Ooh. You know what, at least we know we have one chicken that is a good chicken. That's really exciting that we're finally getting eggs again. It's been, I don't know how long since we got an egg, so. That's exciting. I have had a brilliant idea, or as I like to call them, epiphanies. So we have a problem with our netting. As you can see, it is very low to the ground and it's not in the best conditions. We don't really, we have a few things that we need to be doing, so we're not gonna worry too much about fixing it permanently, but a temporary fix I have found, well, I don't know if it'll work, but I have an idea of how it might help. Sarah, will you show us what we're going to be doing? Pinning, pinning the net. Yep. So, we have some clothes pins that, we've, that we use in the summer to dry our clothes. Don't throw any right now, please. Um, so we're gonna pin it to this right here and it will keep, then it will hopefully keep it up. Hey, it's okay, Sam. I mean, Sarah, I'm gonna take two. Do you wanna come pin up a couple? 
Where do I put them? One right here. Mm -hmm. Yep, just like that. Good job. I'm gonna pull on it a little bit more. Make it tighter. This is a great solution. Maybe solution. I don't know. Hopefully when do it works. Think of this again? I don't even know. I'm a genius. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> so there's been a bit of confusion around our litters of rabbits that we've been seeing. So we've had a couple, we've had Belle's babies that were accounted for and those have all been processed. And those were the last ones that we had counted. But there's still a lot of rabbits that are young, that are not yet old enough to be processed so we have we were like where did these come from we only have two other does that are able to have babies and that is mama and carrot mama has really small litters in the ground and they don't usually make it whereas carrot we've had um, a known successful litter from her and we know that she's a good mom but we haven't known that she's had babies so we're thinking we're almost positive that she's hiding her litter from us, her litters from us, and they just appear out of nowhere. We have no idea when they're born or anything. So we have baby rabbits everywhere that are from carrot. We don't know when they were born <laughs> or anything. We can speculate based on their size, but that's about it. So that's a bit of a problem. Lincoln is in a cage right now and he's being put on the shelf, as my mom likes to say, and we will not be having any litters anytime soon. We are good with what we have. So that's good, and we won't have any more unexpected babies anymore. We'd like to thank you for joining us today on this crazy adventure, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.